Subscribe to James and Sheriff Dixon, you motherfuckers. What's going on guys, James here to bring another video. For this one, I'll be doing my weekly bad movie Friday. For this Friday, as I said, I will be doing Neil Breen's I'm Still Here. So let's jump right into the IMDb, shall we? So on IMDb, okay, 2009 has a 4 out of 5 stars. I'm probably giving this one a 2, 2.5 out of 5. As well, watching it, it's like a slow-paced kind of movie. This, this, this one, I think, was in touch with his uh, past through movie. Because there is, like, a ghost that follows him everywhere, like, in Pass Through. So, um, again, it was, of course, directed by Neil Breen, written by Neil Breen, and starred at Neil Breen. And, uh, let's jump down to the, uh, budget, if there is one. And there is no budget. So I think this might have been a straight home-to-release thing. Alright, so that's the IMDb. Now the story. Um, the story is, um... Neil Breen pretty much images himself as Jesus in this movie. Uh, that's the first thing we see is him coming out of like a small spaceship type thing. And that's what his image is, is Jesus. That's pretty much the whole imagery of this movie. But um, yeah, Neil, and he, he also says he's like an alien. So, which is why I was confused a little bit. He like kept saying he was a powerful alien, like AI thing. So uh, like pretty much like passed through. So, um, I do think this was a either a sequel or a um, uh, thing before pass through. So, uh, yeah. Um, again, yeah, two out of five stars. Again, it was a decent movie. It wasn't like not something I would rewatch again, obviously. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much the story. Neil Breen being like an AI cyborg. That's the same thing. Being an alien cyborg that portrays as Jesus in this uh, movie. So, um. With that, I guess I will show you guys the clips that I have picked out that I best think represents this movie, and then I'll be back right after that. See y'all in a second, everybody. Hey, I've got a new girl to work for us. Very hot. I'd like to do any of these two guys at the same time. What? So yeah, those are the scenes that I best thought represented this uh, movie. Um, again, there was a storyline with like a drug cartel and like uh, politicians and shit like uh, that I didn't point out in the beginning of this that um wasn't like almost all of his movies so uh yeah um so yeah that's pretty much the scenes that i have picked out for this uh movie um so yeah with that i guess i will show you what i have in store for next week's bad movie friday so uh yeah not much to say pretty much about this movie that other than that it is a neil breen movie so uh yeah so um I'll be right back again, guys, to show you what's in store for next week's Bad Movie Friday. Be right back, everybody. Ah! Sharknado 5, titled Global Swarming. So, uh, yes, we are going to be doing Sharknado again. As I promised, we're going to watch all of Neil Breen's movies and all of Sharknado's movies. Sound Sorry if I sound like a broken record. We've been watching at least. But, uh, yeah. Um, we got one more Sharknado movie after this, thank God, and uh, one more Neil, Neil Breen movie after this, as well as a thank God. So, uh, yeah, um, we're going to be watching Sharknado 5 for next week's Bad Movie Friday. So, uh, with that, I'm going to end the video here. This is James saying, if you like what you've been seeing, please subscribe for more. Subscribe for more. This is James saying, peace.
I'll let Brandon Rogers take from here. Y'all in the next one, everybody. Right. Um, I just want to shout out an amazing channel, uh, James the Sheriff Dixon. Oh, he's such a great guy, and he is super cool for coming to the show. I'm glad I got to meet him in person, and you should subscribe.